Yeah, I want to get this video out right now. You know, I was watching a whole bunch of other channels about, you know, um, the black side of YouTube was talking about tricking and simping. And the main thing that I'm seeing a lot of motherfuckers out here saying is that you game. You use game. You have a good mouthpiece. But like somebody said, I forgot his name or his name was Edward or whatever his name is. He said that basically all these women pre-select. So it doesn't matter what kind of game you have and whatever you said to her, she's not going to pick you anyway. And if she does, she's going to do it at her time and her pace by wow having sex with somebody who ain't going to do half of the shit that you're doing right now. So when you ask when you ask these guys about their mouthpiece and I always do this. You ask them about what game is and then you ask them how long it take how long it takes you in numbers and minutes to get a girl into the bedroom. They never answer you. So in turn look at it and be like, "Wait, so you can't tell you can't say a simple answer to a question that dudes want to know how long they got to waste their time just to get some get some vagina because a lot of people don't have don't a lot of people don't have patience to sit and talk to these women L let alone just sit there and, and and trying to impress them and be all this it's funny to me that these guys that get women they look a certain way they drive a certain car and they waste their whole time on women but when you look at their life overall they have no hobbies they don't have shit that they can focus on and half a half a percent of the time they're a bunch of casual dudes who just do random shit every per day unlike the certain dudes that have hobbies and they're focusing on some skills or they're focusing on certain things they don't have certain time to waste on being having a great mouthpiece they don't have time to waste on females they want to know are they in or are they not they don't have time for no games. And what these other guys don't get is that your game is gassing her up. The game you're using on her is gonna be is gonna make the next dude who try to date her even worse. Because you're telling her everything she wants to hear and everything she needs to hear. She's gonna gain an ego. And it's going to boost her to the point where she thinks she's better than she is. So the next guy is going to have to try 10 times harder. And then it's going to keep trickling, trickling down. It's going to keep trickling down. It's a domino effect to the point where this girl is going to think she's the best looking woman in the world. And nobody looks better than her. This is why now we got a lot of women who feel so threatened by another race of woman. If you're black. If you're Latino, if you're any any race, they feel so threatened by someone who looks better than them. Some of them even go so far to to to, to use violence against a, a woman that's prettier than her because these guys has told these women what they want to hear. We all seen women who thought they look good and they're ugly. We seen women walk around in booty shorts and stuff and they're fat and their gut hanging out. It's that's the result. The result of all of that is dudes out here using game. You're telling these women what they want to hear. And in turn, these females are running with that shit. You got the sloppiest females out here thinking they, they look bad. You got the ugliest looking women who got bug eyes thinking they look bad. You got all these women out here thinking they look sexy and, and, and beautiful and they're ugly as hell. So now you're telling guys to limit themselves and not travel outside the country. See, this is one thing you have to understand. There's no super man code or man rule to, 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 to dictate if a man is a trick or a simp. You're just making these rules up because guess what? You want to dominate another man because you had to do all this shit. You had to impress these women because you didn't look good. You had to put all this effort in yourself in order to get a female that wasn't really attractive. But these guys, everyone know that we live in a capitalist society. So you should be able 
to get what you want with money. There's no point to sitting here putting yourself through all this bullshit, talking to women who don't really have a personality. They jump from trend to trend. They jump from show to show. They jump from style to style. They don't have their own mind. I have never met a woman who never try to make me impress her. I never met a woman who's who has the same knowledge in me when it comes to games. I never met a woman who has the same knowledge that I have as watching anime, watching shows, some history. I never met any of these type of women. But they say they like anime, they say they like games. But when you see their knowledge about gaming and anime and anything that you like, it's never matchups to what you like. Then you get these women trying to tell you their whole life stories when you're just there to talk some simple shit. And then you see that they're, they're viewing and how they look at shit. And you see how they, 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 they look at gossip. Even the smart ones look at gossip. You see the smart ones doing the same thing you see the, 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 thought, the thoughts doing. They just have a business. They just have a, a, um, they just have a persona that they they walk around with because they got a degree or they wear a business suit. But they're still just like the woman without the business suit. They're all pretty much all of them the same. As I said, no one can prove me wrong. I never met a girl who tried to impress me. I never met a girl who tried to make me feel comfortable. I never I never met a, a, a woman who's confident enough. To not wear fake hair, fake makeup, and go out here and put products in their hair. You're one of these women want to talk about. They don't like a man with confidence, but the fact is, why should a man be with a woman who's not confident enough to walk around without makeup and walk around without products in her hair, or to walk around without any of that bullshit and walk around just without makeup and nothing, and show the whole world that you are confident with your own skin. It shows that you you really don't have no confidence at all. Because if you don't have to go nowhere, like work setting, or outside, or you just going to the store, why do you have to put a pound of makeup on? Why you got to sit here and put all this product in just to make your hair smooth and whatever, whatever? Why you have to do that? You're, you're, you're confident, right? And then they say they don't like a man with no self-esteem. So a man is supposed to be with a female who has low self-esteem herself. Who always acts in a man how she look in a dress and how she looks in this and how she looks in that you should look at yourself in a mirror and say I like the way I look that's it you shouldn't have a man of approval but the fact is we have this so backwards as society that now we put all these women up and now we're paying a price we gave women way too much power now they got every group out here just Stomping over men. You got 500, 600 pound, 400 pound women thinking they they deserve a, a fit man. You got women out here with kids thinking that they can level up from a man. You got these women out here who ugly as hell. They are not even remotely attractive. Gaining a man because you telling these men they need a mouthpiece. You telling these men they need this and that. I rather a dude automatically go to another country and brag about his accomplishment because the fact is let's let's think about, let's think about it. A man works for his money. So why not brag about the girls that he got with his money? Even if he did pay for it, that was still his money his worth. It's the real sad part is if a man making a lot of money and he has an ugly chick by his side and the ugly chick gives him attitude and stresses his life out and cheats on him, that's a guy who's, who's might, who might commit suicide, who, who might just, just get frustrated and do some reckless crap. See, this, this, you don't understand this. A man should be able to go pay for the females that he want without doing all that work. Because in time, in nine times out of ten, any woman that is attractive in American society, she's gonna make the own. She's gonna make the rules up when it comes to dating and who she wants in her in her legs. Just like the ugly woman is gonna want 
the, the ugly woman is different. What? Let me let me let me recant that. Any female who's really attractive or cute or okay looking will try to dictate the rules to men because they were told all their life that they were cute, they were sexy, and in, in, in getting men, they didn't have to pursue men. They didn't have to put in the work to, to, to impress no man. All they had to do was be a female and do females things that they see on TV and what everybody else do. Women all overall are, 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 are followers and hive mind. So then you have the ugly women below them who guys put in work for them. Now they think that they at the same level as these pretty women. Now you got the pretty women on top, the ugly women on top, and then you got the fat women below them who now on top too because guess what? These guys were smashing them and making them feel like that they were the best looking women. Now you have the ugliest of the ugly of the females. Now they at the top. Now all these women want the same shit now. They want the fit men. They want the tall men. They want all these men. They want all these men to put much time in them. They want all these men to waste, stop their time and stop their everything they're doing, their cycle of life that they're having in their life to talk to them. Now we got all these women on the pedestal and they think that all men should impress them to be with them and stop their life. See, what these guys who said uh, all this game they talking about, they never tell you how, how many hours they spent talking to a girl on the phone. Rather, a girl, if this female that you're talking to, did she interrupt what you was doing? Do you have to go call her at her beck and call? Do you have to take her on dates? Do you have to do all that? If you say you have a mouthpiece and you good with your words... I never want to hear these same dudes said that they had to take a week to have sex with a female. It should be two days, three days tops. But if you had to take a week, two weeks, three weeks, then your mouthpiece suck ass. And not only that, if you did take you three days, you might have had something that she liked it. Money, cars, or some status. So let's not act like a mouthpiece really comes into play because these women nine times out of ten they already heard it all they just want to know who giggles who makes them giggles the most they want to make who they want to know who is going to audition pretty much all these dudes out here are auditioning to get sex from these females and they pick the ones that impress them the most so nine times out of ten that mouthpiece shit don't even don't work for certain guys as i said before do what you want. Fuck anybody who think that you fuck anybody who thinks that what you do is sad and lame and whatever. Because nine times out of ten, if you look at their life, they're doing something that they don't want to do. Every man does something what he don't want to do. And it's a checklist for some cer certain men. And it's a limit for certain men. They might be doing ten things. Out of the 20 that they don't want to do in life. So now you're telling them to do something for women. That's 11 that they, they have to do something that they don't want to do just to get women. If you. If you. Want to de-stress yourself from doing something that you don't absolutely want to do. Then I say do it. If you want to get sex from other countries and you want to feel like the big shot for as long as you want to feel, you want to post it online, do it. No one's going to stop you. Who cares if what people say? Oh, you can't get no women. Okay, so what? You don't have a mouthpiece. Okay, so what? I still get the women I want. I pay for it. There's my money. I work for it. You can't take that away from me. My work ethics. Because if I pay for some females in another country, in a culture, that have sex with me, that money had to come somewhere. And it means that I had to work my ass off to get that money. I didn't have to work my ass off to impress a girl who's used up anyway. So guess what? I don't care. So that's what you should do. 
You should show your full-blown confidence to the whole world. Oh, you pay for women. That don't count. I don't care. It count to me. It matters to me. You don't dominate me. You don't dominate. Your rules don't apply to me. I only pay attention to one. I only say pay attention to any particular rules that the world made. And that's the, the simple law of every country and every state and every government. But your rules don't apply to me. I don't need to follow your rules. I'm my own man and it's my own world. I follow what rules I think is what I think is right. I make my own rules and I make my own codes. Don't worry about these dudes out here because nine times out of ten they want to bully you. Let me tell you the mindset of these guys who tell you that you're weak and you weak for going outside the country and pursuing other women. They want to dominate you in every single way. These guys see you as below them. They think that you deserve to get the woman that they had sex with and they bust on her face. They want these females that they finish with and pass it to you because they think you're lower than them. They think you don't deserve the best looking women. They think that they should be come first come first serve because they fit a description and they did all this work and they did this and did that. They think you're not worthy of getting anyone attractive without doing half the work. They trying to put you below them because in some cases or not, they see that you got money and they don't. They see that they had to waste all this money on getting these women. They had to waste money on clothes, shoes, and appearance, and they had to waste time to impress these females. So they don't have as much time as you do for your hobbies, and they don't have as much time for, like you do for making money. So they want you to be at their level, but they want you to take their sloppy seconds and say, ha ha ha, this dude is fucking somebody, this dude is having sex with somebody that I already had sex with. He's a loser. They want to put you in that lowest category. Because they think that you don't deserve anyone who looks good. They think you deserve what they think you deserve. They want to dictate. They want to dictate. Dictate. What you should get and what you shouldn't get. If you. If they had the, the ability to police you. Every female that you walk up to, they'll be right there next to you saying, nah, dog, you, you you ain't ready for that. Nah, man, you ain't ready for that. No, don't do that. Go to that fat chicks. Oh, no, no, go to that ugly chick right there. Even if she has eggs. Oh, hey, hey, get what you can take, man. Even the girl is, has nine kids. Even if she's fat and out of shape. Even if she has STD from me. Hey, deal with her, dog. Because I think that you don't deserve a good looking chick. I don't think you deserve a bad chick. This is what these female, this is what these dudes are telling you without speaking, without speaking that way to you. So they like, you're lame, you're a loser. They want you to sit here and get the women after them. They want you to sleep in a bed after they fucked a whole bunch of women. They want you to sleep in that same bed after they fucked and, 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 and nutted all over the bed. That's what kind of disrespect they are towards you because they think you lesser than they are. Because you don't have a certain certain swag about yourself, but you commit you you better at them than other things. So, but they want to pull you down and put a mask over your head. I mean, they want to put a blindfold over your head and say, "Yo, I'm gonna pick fit women for you. I'm gonna tell you what to do. You're below me," and they want to keep you at, below them as long as they as long as they can. Because these women, I mean, these dudes. Who say that guys who go to another country and trick, they're weak and they're simps. They are the same dudes who might sleep with your, your girlfriend because she looks better than the girls. She looks better than the girls that he can get. He might go behind your back. It's a turn on to him. It's an aphrodisiac to these, these guys who say they have a mouthpiece and they don't have to put in all his work or they, they're, they, they, they have a bigger size than you, whatever. They want to. They want to. They want to take what you have. They they will rob you if they could. They will physically rob you of all of your things that you paid for because they can't have that stuff. They will rob you of your time because you have more time than they do. They will take your girl from you 
and laugh in your face and spit in your face and say, yo, she went on to me, man, because I'm better than you in the bed. I got a bigger stick than you. They want to dominate you. But if you go to another country and pay for it, you are on the same level. You're like, hey, man, these girls are nothing to me. They're lower than me. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to be done. And I get to be good at what I'm what I want to be good at. I don't have to spend my time and, and hang out with them and do any of that shit. They can go about their way. All I got to do is get one one or two orgasms from this female that I'm paying for, and I'm out of here. They can't get a gratification from a guy like that. They can't control them. You out of you out of order for them. They they have to get you back to controlling you. They gotta get you back. They gotta they gotta make you feel powerless compared to them. And don't believe this shit. Be your old man. Do what you want to do. And just don't listen to these dudes, man. Don't listen to them. Make your own path. Make your own rules. And not only that, make your own assumptions on what you think being, what you think a beautiful woman is. Also, make your assumption on what kind of time you want to give to a female or not. Because nine times out of ten, it's better to pay for it next to, it's better than paying for it than to sit here and and, and have to talk talk with this girl and wasting your time. Now, if you want to talk to a female and you want to make the the, 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 um, level playing field by... At the same time you're talking to this female, you're paying for a female on the side. Then it becomes more equal because not only that, you don't have to put that much time in with this female right here. And if it goes bad, you can just fall back on paying for the chicks. Now, you can apply that to everything right there. But I'm going too long. I'm done with this whole thing. I just wanted to put my my, my thoughts on it. And yeah, I'm out. (laughs)